On today's episode, we'll be unboxing and reviewing the Ellis Coco lightsaber. Is it a worthy addition to your collection, or should it go in the scrap heap? Let's find out. Hello to all my Jedi and Sith companions. I'm your host, the Frugal Jedi. And today we are doing this unboxing and review of the Ellis Coco Dueling Lightsaber. It's available to purchase on Amazon. Uh, I'm Canadian, so I got mine from Amazon.ca. It sells for $139.99. And at the time of this review, there is a $20 coupon that you can clip. It comes in three colors, gray, black, or silver. And the description says that it has 12 different sets of color, nine sets of sound fonts. It has smooth swing, blaster function, lockup function, flash on clash, large 3000 milliamp capacity battery, and USB Type C charging. So <clears throat> let's point the camera down at the table and get a closer look. Inside the box, we're going to find the instruction manual, which goes over the features of the lightsaber and how to activate the different sound fonts, the blaster effects, and so forth. Comes with an Allen key and these little screws and some extra ones. That is to attach the blade to the hilt. Comes with a USB charging cable. And this is USB C, which is nice. This is a standard type of connector. You don't have to buy or worry about uh, damaging a proprietary connector. And I've used different USB C cables and they all work. The one thing it doesn't come with that you're going to need is a wall adapter. And the wall adapter uh, shouldn't be more than one amp output. If you use something with 2.4 amps or 2 amps, you risk damaging the hilt. Just to speed things up, I've already attached the blade to the hilt and I put a screw in on each side. And you don't want to over tighten them, just enough so that the blade doesn't wobble around in there and doesn't, you can't pull it out, it feels sturdy. The hilt is aluminum alloy, which is nice. Uh, it's metal, all metal construction on the hilt. I got the gunmetal color or the gray color. Uh, you could also get this in black or silver. What I really like about this is the design of the hilt. Um, that's what attracted me to this to this particular lightsaber. I like the fact that it has these three cutouts on the emitter. It looks really cool when it's lit up. And the hilt has this uh, convex or concave shape, I, I can't remember the right term, but it just uh, feels really nice when you wrap your hand around the hilt. It just fits really well. For two-handed, it's not bad. Uh, if you have large hands, like my hands are, are average size, but if you have really big hands, you might find that it's just a little too small to hold two-handed, but for me, it's okay. I can manage with that. The pommel at the bottom is removable too. So if you have a second lightsaber, you could attach this lightsaber to another lightsaber. And this pommel is threaded on both sides. So uh, with, a, with the pommel attached, I would just take the pommel off another lightsaber and screw it into here. All right, let's go over some of the features. So to turn the lightsaber on, I'm gonna hold down the power button. Power on. It'll say power on, and the light is on. So now it's in standby mode. So while in standby mode, 
you can adjust the volume. You can also choose the lighting mode. And there are three lighting modes, stable, pulse, and unstable. And you can cycle through all the power banks. I'm sorry, you can cycle through all the sound fonts. So pressing the button till it lights up once. Volume low. We'll adjust the volume. And you have three settings, volume low, volume high, and mute. And I'm just waiting for the light to flash once. Mute. Now it's muted. There would be no sound if I turn on the lightsaber. Volume high. Volume high. I'm going to put it back to low. Volume low. All right. Now I'm going to hold the power button down and the light will flash twice. Steady. Steady. So now the light from the blade will be just a steady color. Pulse, it'll flicker a little bit. Unstable. Unstable, that means it's going to flicker a lot. Holding the button three flashes is going to start cycling through sound fonts. So that's one sound font. Now, a description that gives you just a beep doesn't really tell you a whole lot about what sound font that is. I am going to list all nine sound fonts in, in the description so that you can see what they're trying to represent. Again, a little vague. <laughs> That's Emperor Palpatine. And I won't go through all of them but there are nine in total. Pressing it one, two, three, four, and waiting and waiting, and it will go back into sleep mode. There, so now sleep mode, nothing will happen when I press the button. The battery's not going to drain, nothing will happen. If you don't put it into sleep mode manually, the lightsaber will go into sleep mode by itself after 10 minutes. In case you forget to turn it off, you're not going to completely drain your battery. Okay, so I'm going to turn it power on. back on. And now I'm going to turn the lightsaber on. To turn the lightsaber on, we just click the button once. And it turns on. So if you remember, we left it on unstable mode, and that's what you're seeing right now. To turn the lightsaber off, Hold down the button till it flashes four times, and it turns off. Okay, I'm going to put the blade back to stable. Steady. Or steady. Okay, and we'll turn the blade back on, clicking the button. And there we go. So now it's just steady. So while the lightsaber is on, the button has more functions. Pressing the button is the blaster effect, as if a stormtrooper is firing at you with a blaster and you're deflecting those blasters. Holding the button down till the light till the light flashes once creates a lockup effect, as if you had another lightsaber locked together and you're struggling back and forth. And to turn that off, you just click the button again and it shuts off. Holding the button down for two light flashes. And we see that the color starts to change. And it will slowly cycle through all the colors that the lightsaber can do. Until you uh, get to the color you want, it is a little slow. So there's no fast way to get through all the colors. So I want to I want to set the lightsaber to red. So we just kind of wait. Getting closer. There it is. And to lock in the color, I click the button again and now it stays red. Now the manual does say that if you press the button for three light flashes, it's supposed to go through a quick color change, but it doesn't. 
Instead, when you hold the button down for three flashes, it gives you a sound effect. And each sound effect is different for each sound profile. But it would have been nice if it actually switched the colors quickly, uh, like it's supposed to in the manual. I did bring it up with the manufacturer and they sent me a replacement lightsaber and it still didn't do it. Um, so they must have changed something internally. And I know they have because there are other videos out there showing uh, the same lightsaber being reviewed and it does have quick color change. All right, so now pressing the button four times. We'll shut off the blade and we're back into standby mode. All right, so that is the features of the lightsaber. Um, to charge it, you'll just take a charging, your charging cord, plug it in, and it'll say charging. When it's done charging, it usually takes around four hours to fully charge. You will hear a voice and the voice will say, ready. And it'll say ready 10 seconds later, and then another 10 seconds later, and then five seconds I time this and keep saying ready, ready, ready. Eventually it will stop saying ready. Uh, and then the light will shut off and it's fully charged. If you're going to be charging this in your bedroom, you might get startled in the middle of the night um, because you'll hear a voice saying ready and it's pretty loud so just uh, be aware of that all right i think i've uh, gone through all of the features so next i think we need to demonstrate how it works so let's dim the lights and i'll swing it around a little bit and you can see for yourself uh, how it looks So after demonstrating this lightsaber, what I found out is that it doesn't support smooth swing. And you could tell that when I was swinging it around, it should be making that sound that you're, uh, you hear in the movies when you're swinging a lightsaber. It doesn't do that. And I know why it doesn't do that because the company decided to downgrade the soundboard in the lightsaber at one time. In the past, it did have a better soundboard. I've seen other reviews and that's why I bought this lightsaber it was based on those res uh, those reviews I saw on YouTube. Even the ad itself on Amazon uh, shows a guy using the lightsaber. The sound fonts are different and it had smooth swing. So that's the soundboard that it has in there right now. Not the same one as it was before. The sound quality is good. It has a bass speaker, uh, it's full, doesn't sound tinny, but it's just really disappointing that they had to go and 
downgrade that soundboard and get rid of that smooth swing. For the price, can I recommend this lightsaber? Not really, no. Out of five stars, I'm going to give this lightsaber a 2.5 out of 5. And if you found this video helpful, please like and subscribe. I have many more videos on the way. And uh, that's all for today. Thank you for watching.